And now for something completely different. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Jamie. And this is our new series called Art House to, to the Fart House. So we'll take turns picking topics, and then we each have to pick five movies related to that topic. And in this one, Jamie picked the topic. Best scenes in the bathroom. And my first choice is Robocop, Paul Verhoeven's movie from 1987. Uh, and the scene that I love in the bathroom is where Bob Morton makes a uh, critical error and talks shit about Dick Jones while Dick Jones is in the bathroom. And the executive next to him pisses his pants just to get out of the bathroom. That's corporate America. Uh, my first pick is Freebie and the Bean from 1974. It has a very young Alan Arkin and a very young James Caan in it. It's it's an early buddies cop movie. Um, it's I can't actually talk about the scene itself because it's part of the climactic end, um, but I can tell you it's in Candlestick Park. Um, and I would also say that if you're interested at all in looking at the evolution of cop buddy movies, this is a good place to start. Uh, my next choice is Pulp Fiction where John Travolta spends at least half of the movie in the bathroom. Uh, he needs to either change his diet or get off the heroin because it's giving him the trots. Every single thing that's important in that movie happens while he's in the bathroom. My next pick is Eastern Promises, directed by David Cronenberg. Um, and I'm, I'm taking the word bathroom and using it actually more literally, since the scene I'm thinking about is set in uh, an actual bathroom room or bath house and it's a, a very buff, uh, very tatted up Viggo Mortensen who has no body issues at all fighting uh, a brutal battle in a bath house. Uh, and watch it on a big screen because you want his testicles to be as big as possible because they're all over that scene. My next choice is Train Spotting. Uh, Danny Boyle, uh, his Scottish movie uh, from the mid 90s, and it, one of the one of the best scenes in the movie is set in the worst, dirtiest toilet in Scotland, which is saying something. Uh, I'm Scottish, so I can say that. I think I think those are the rules Aww. still. Uh, but I've I've fallen asleep in toilets. I've had my head stuck in toilets, and they're never that nice and expansive. So it seems okay to me. Interestingly, my third pick is also Danny Boyle, which makes me wonder whether or not he has a bathroom fetish. <laughs> um, it is Slumdog Millionaire, which is set in India, not in the UK. Um, it is Dev Patel's uh, debut role. Uh, but the scene that involves a toilet, a primitive toilet, and a little boy making his great escape. Uh, my next choice is The Shining from 1980, directed, I can't remember who it is. <laughs> Stanley something or other. Uh, and my favorite scene in that movie is the bathroom scene between him uh, and maybe the late Delbert Grady, uh, and Delbert explains uh, Jack's situation to him, and Jack literally has the craziest look on his face for the entire scene. It's amazing. You can just see him melting down in that scene. And I can't have a bathroom list without having the Big Lebowski on it, because the scene with the bathtub and the ferret has me laughing so hard I cry every single time I've seen it. Thank you, Coen Brothers. <laughs> It's, it's a great mix, a bathtub, a ferret, and one of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've gone to parties like that. It's a good time. My last choice is There's Something About Mary. I've always been a uh, physical, uh, I've always been a fan of uh, actual effects as opposed to computer generated effects. And so when he gets uh, his beans and Franks stuck in his zipper and they're upside down and twisted all around, it's like one of the best special effects ever. Or is it? It's, it's super accurate. Don't ask me how I know. And uh, my final pick is The Truman Show, which is directed by Peter Weir, um, who is an Australian. Uh, do you know what they call bathrooms, what a slang term for bathrooms is in Australia? Oh, uh, is the loo like in England? No, it is, uh, well, they may use that as well, but uh, it's uh, called a dunny. Um, and toilet paper is called dunny rolls. It's from an, uh, an ancient, or not an ancient, but an older um, British term of dunnikin. Anyway. Uh, Learn something new every day! <laughs> you know, bathrooms are a very intimate place, and I think The Truman Show is one of those movies that is sort of the epitome of voyeurism. And those scenes um, where we're watching Jim Carrey in the bathroom um, as he's getting ready, I just feel like are, are unbelievably intimate, and, and I, um, that's why I would put it in my bathroom list. Uh, my favorite thing about bathroom scenes is that in science fiction movies where uh, people are flying around spaceships, nobody ever goes to the toilet. 
Uh, and I just want to make a movie uh, specifically about people going to the toilet on a spaceship. 100%. <laughs> That's the whole movie? That's the whole movie. All right. It's filled That's with drama. An hour and a half of Three and a half that. hours. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a Russian. It's a Russian. It's film. a Russian one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, uh, it for bathroom picks, and uh, we will look forward to seeing you next time in the bathroom.